In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pump fake like a pro. Now, I'm pretty sure you're used to this pump fake that you see right here, but let me tell you why it sucks. Reason one, it's too slow. Reason two, you lose control of your quarterback. And reason three, by the time you get control of your quarterback, you're either rushing to make a read or you're already sacked. Now to execute a regular pump fake, all you gotta do is hit the icon that you're trying to throw to two times. That gives you the regular standard pump fake action. Now to utilize the pump fake action that all of the pros use to maximize their pump fake, you add a little razzle dazzle to it. You pull down on the right trigger if you're on Xbox or the R2 if you're on PlayStation before you actually give the pump fake action, before you tap down twice on your receiving icon. That gives you a little bit of a sprint motion which speeds up the uh, pump fake, allowing you to regain control of your quarterback way quicker giving you time to get the ball out quicker and to make other reads down the field. Now, why is it so important? Why am I showing you this advanced pump fake? Because once you execute this advanced pump fake, the defense sees that little circle pop up on the screen to where you're pump faking to. It gets their attention. It distracts them. They want to move their user. It can possibly move their user off of attacking your other options and gets them out the way to where you're able to now redirect and smoothly throw the ball to where they previously were. Now, if you love this tip, but now you want to learn how to destroy match coverage and destroy the defense, go ahead and click the link to the video. It's popping up on your screen right now and go on and learn how to destroy the defense, guys. I'm out.